Hi Taurus, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Okay, four of Pentacles. What's going on? Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here. Someone's holding on to some outdated thinking, possibly. Somebody could be very stubborn. It's a very stubborn energy right now, okay? Someone could be saving their money. Someone could be in some hoarding energy, like not letting go of the past. But we'll see. Hmm. This is also energy of stability, too. So we'll see. We'll see. All right, more pentacle energy. This is the king of pentacles. All right, let's see. Either this king of pentacles, either this earth sign. This person doesn't have to be an earth sign per se, but you guys like this this person. Um, if they're not an earth sign, they're someone who values putting effort and energy into something. This person values stability and security and money. Like, that's very important to them. This person could also be a bit stubborn. Okay, this is definitely the person being stubborn here. This is somebody who's a provider. For some of y'all, this person could be a successful business owner here. They consider themselves very traditional. But, like, this person on this card has tattoos on both hands. And they have on nail polish. White nail polish. At that. But they consider themselves traditional. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. All right, this King of Pentacles could be having some sort of past regret right now, too. Show me more. The Hierophant. Interesting. Very, this person definitely sees themselves as someone who's traditional. Taurus energy. Okay, they could be an earth sign, like I said here. You know, maybe some, I just feel like this person is really unique. Maybe they are traditional in their own way, like when it comes to their culture, they, this person could be slightly different, or their religion, or their spirituality, or like this could also be something that they do for a living, like whatever it is, they, this person could have like really special, different, a different type of education or something, or knowledge. This person could also be spiritual here, I, I don't know, this person could be married, I don't know, we'll see, King of Pentacles is usually the married person. Um... They could also be a spiritual teacher. We'll see. All right. The Ace of Cups. Ooh, shoot. Somebody here might be getting new love. Ace of Cups. This could also be like a reconciliation of something new. But I don't know. This person may have actually have pure intentions. This person shows themselves. My hand is itching. What does it mean when your hand itches, you guys? I don't know. I don't. Anywho. Uh, this person is. I, you know what I'm getting from this, you guys? Now I'm getting your energy here. You could be ready for new love. You're in a growth stage. Like you're in a growth, going through a growth spurt where you're like focusing on yourself, worried about you, showing yourself a lot of self-love here. This person is, I feel like, coming towards you with good intentions. All right. They want to show some love. Show me love. What's that? Uh, Alicia Keys. Oh, wow. The Nine of Wands energy. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy here. I don't know. You could be feeling like there's been setbacks when it comes to your love life. It, feel, it feels like right here, this is what this looks like here. Like, you've been feeling some form of setback when it comes to love. Things haven't really been going. Like, you could even be this guarded energy. Let's just be real, okay? Um, you may even just kind of be tired and distant from someone here. You could be tired and growing tired and distant. There could be some emotional or physical distance between you and this King of Pentacles. And for some of you, if you know this person here, you're tired. There continues to be setback after setback with this person. Or maybe that's what this King of Pentacles experienced here. But they're trying to push forward, okay? You could be even be meeting this person while you're going through a phase of like, oh, when is love coming? When is love coming? It seems like setback after setback, you know, like you've seen a couple different people. Look at this, the Eight of Pentacles. More pentacle energy, okay? So I, I see cups, pentacles. There's a Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands here too, but... I feel like, you know, you, this person, either this is this person or apply yourself where this resonates for you, but I feel like this King of Pentacles is a very ambitious person. This could also be you. 
saying I'm taking care of myself, I'm focusing on my stability, my security, you know, that type of energy here. This could be you working towards a goal, um, deciding to work towards a goal here, or this could be somebody who wants to work something out with you. You know, that's Eight of Pentacles is the energy of like teamwork, dedication, somebody being focused and very persistent here. So this could also be the energy of this King of Pentacles is like, this person is going to be consistent. This person is going to be like reliable, very accomplished energy. You know, this is somebody who's going to put in the work, you know. Show me more here about the King of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles laid it right on top of this King of Pentacles. And its placement is right underneath the King of Pentacles, okay. So this is someone here who is in their bag. They're, I feel like they're making lots of money here. Um, this person is a giver. I feel like, okay, because the Six of Pentacles is about, sometimes can be about bread crummy. We'll see what the next card is. But when it's next to this King of Pentacles, I'm not getting that. But you never know what might come out next. This is somebody here who has like a really, they want an equal, um, equal balance, equal give and take here. This person is going to reach out to you. So, like, this is someone here who, when they, when you take some, text them, they're gonna, they're gonna text you back. They're not gonna leave you on red. They're not gonna play games. Show me more about this King of Pentacles. I see a lot of text messaging back and forth. The fool just came out, and it kind of was like. It kind of came out sideways, and I, I, I it bounced back off of another deck, and, it, and I think that's why it went sideways. But, 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 there are no, you know, coincidences here. The full card of Aries energy and Aquarius energy, you could be one of those signs of this person, because if there's a, a new beginning available here for you with this person, a new start, I definitely feel, I am definitely feeling entrepreneur energy here, like someone owning their own business, but this is also somebody who takes risk. It's definitely giving, like, King of Wands energy here, too this is somebody here who's a free thinker they think outside of the box their ideas are have got them where they are today i just want you to know that here but there's like an energy of like somebody you know how like when you're about to, to double dutch and you're like am i gonna get in am i ready to get in i'm like oh i don't know am i ready yet i don't know because if i go now i'm gonna you know what i mean i might mess up like somebody here is in this energy of like ooh, do i want to take this leap of faith do i want to try this like, this person could like i said be somebody new and different because this is somebody here who's very traditional they do not look like they're traditional, but they have tattoos on their hands and they have nail polish on. Okay. I'm just saying. With a button up and a bow tie. All right. Show me what else. <laughs> what else do we need to know about the king of pentacle spirit? What? Okay. What else do we need to know about the king of pentacles? Five of Cups. What is going on? That just came out sideways too. Hmm. Could be, again, for some of y'all, this is someone new. Okay, if this is someone new here, this person's been betrayed in the past. You know, they're just getting over some form of like breakup with somebody here and they, or they just recently experienced a loss. Now, um, or this could be you and that could be the reason why somebody's afraid to take a leap of, of, of you know, a leap of faith here or take this risk because somebody was recently hurt or that could be the case here. Now, this is somebody you know who's this king of pentacles that wants to reconcile with you here. They want, they don't want to give up on this. They want to make this work. They want to return and, get in, and give you equal recipro reciprocity, but they're kind of in this, this sadness and this regret. There's in the, During this separation, this person is very sad and lonely they regret they're sort of depressed here they're still holding on to you with this four of pentacles energy show me more here yeah another pinnacle boy i feel you page of page of pinnacles capricorn energy i don't know you know this person definitely again like doesn't if this is a past person this is someone here who is ready to 
not to give up okay this could just be simple communication them wanting to make give you a small love offer right because i don't see other, i see this ace of cups with the page of pentacles yeah and the fool the eight of pentacles and six of pentacles it's 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 a good energy, you know, so if you're thinking, like, is it, has this person changed, I kind of see that. I, I, kinda, I see regret. I see them changing. I see them having this spiritual awakening here. I see them feeling the, and seeing the error of their ways. They definitely can't let you go. They might even be, I'm telling you, want to text you or something. But if this is a new person, you guys, there's going to be a lot of back and forth communication. It's going to feel very, um... It's going to be fun, you know what I mean? Like, you're going to enjoy the conversations that you have with this person for sure. Um, but again, remember I was telling you somebody here, you could meet this person either at a new job or a new opportunity or something too because that also Page of Pentacles energy is like... This person may also be at work a lot. Show me more about this Page of Pentacles, please. Let's clarify the emperor the emperor yeah this is somebody who's a leader this is definitely somebody who definitely is making money this person has great ideas this is somebody here who has that they think outside of the box and they make money off of their ideas but the thing is it's like this person may not look like your typical businessman so be careful not to judge a book by its cover you might want to get to know this person here this is definitely somebody very wise especially with the hair font being out here with the emperor here um this is the person who makes decisions hmm. they could have been married before or have children already this emperor knows that they hold power. They know the power that they hold. I, we have two fours out here. Four. Four, four. So this person could be 44 here. The number 44 could be significant. What else do we have? Somebody could be 45. The number 45 could be significant. What else do we have? Show me more about this page of pentacles. This emperor is the one who wants to make this offer to you. Okay. This is the new person. This person may even be some form of counselor. Clarify page of pentacles, please. Look at this. Another pentacle. The, the knight of pentacles. Wow. This is a solid offer here. This is somebody here who definitely, I told you, is, works very hard. This might. This is not the energy of somebody who's going to move really fast. Mm -mm. No. Because, see, this person is, has patience. You know, this is Knight of Pentacles. Is the Page of Pentacles. Those are the slowest moving knights in the deck. So this is somebody who moves slow. See, this person thinks before they act. They, they, they. If they have a five-year plan, they take that step by step and they follow that and they trust that and they, they are willing to invest the time into the energy, but they know that nothing is built overnight. You know, Rome was a built in a day type energy. This person, I got all day. That's what this person said. I got all day for you. Ace of Cups, I got all day for you. <laughs> oh, and show me more about this Emperor, please. I want to know more about the Emperor. Um, so, uh, whoa. What is this? Just, okay. Oof. The Ten of Wands. This Ten of Wands was like wanting to flip over several times. I feel like this person works so, so hard. They may even like have just, I just feel like they walk, just recently walked away from something here. Again, if this is somebody you know, then this person is very stressed out and they're over something and they just walked away from something. It took it all the power and their might to walk away from it. So just know there was an ending, a recent ending out here, or if this is like your person coming back towards you. We have Aries energy out here, strong towards Virgo Capricorn energy here. We have um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio and Sagittarius energy. Show me more here about this emperor. Yeah. Ten of swords. This person just went through a betrayal and an ending. Jeez. A very painful ending here. Page of swords. Gemini Libra Aquarius energy here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This person may have a stalker or something. Or this person could be watching you. This is somebody who's definitely curious. Very intelligent person here. 
or this is somebody who pays very close attention you know also too this is giving the energy of like this masculine finding out some information about whoever this person was in the past that they went through hell with whoever they went through hell with they they found some information they found out they were recently betrayed you know and it's not going too well over there Mm -mm. Show me more about this emperor, please. Ten of Pentacles. Listen, Spirit said, I done told you that you're dealing with a boss. <laughs> I told you you're dealing with a boss. This person could have been married. This person could have recently been divorced. Or this was somebody that had, like, a family or something. Or that they could have had children. Or, but regardless, this is somebody who I said, again, this is somebody very stable. They do not make quick decisions. They're very methodical about the way that they handle things. This person is revered in their community. or the, And this person cares about their community. They care. This is somebody here who, like, if you're borrowing money, like, if somebody is doing bad in the family, this is somebody here who helps the family. This is the person the family calls to, to help them get out of trouble. This is the get out of jail free card person right here. Mm. Mm -mm. Somebody here may have taken advantage of that. Show me more about this emperor. Seven of swords. Somebody in this person's family betrayed them. Yeah. Child, sneaky ass, and this person found out. Show me more about this emperor, please. Six of cups. This is somebody that they had a past with, like I said, or there's someone here that they had children with. Mm. Yeah. This is somebody they took a chance with. Yeah, seven of, uh, seven of cups. The number seven, seven, 77 could be significant. Somebody could have been born in 1977. Um, and I think we have the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Cups, so 66, okay? So we have three pairs out here, four, 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 six, six, and seven, seven, all right? So that might mean something to you. The Seven, the seven of Cups is about somebody here who I feel like they had pa a past with. Somebody had some choices. There were some illusions. Somebody was in the Seven of Swords. Somebody was hiding something, honey. They was mad, thought they was masking something that they weren't, they not weren't getting away with shit. I don't, because this person found out whatever they needed to find out. It could be this emperor going through this, but I really don't see that. I really don't think that's who, this, this, this masculine was dealing with somebody like that. Okay. All right. What else do we need to know here about... Um, this emperor, please. What else does the collective need to know about this emperor? Temperance. They're healing, like I said. <clears throat> twin flame connection. So this person could be a twin. Your twin flame coming towards you, or like I said, if this is your if this is your person, this is what your person is going through right now. Um, Temperance and Twin Flame, like, wow, okay, but this is also about healing, Sagittarius energy with Temperance, okay, moderation, mm. somebody here could be understanding too that it's time for them to slow down whatever lifestyle they were living, I don't know, that's not for everybody here, um, Somebody is definitely in their life in their life purpose. This is a divine union. Okay, you and this person. This is your divine masculine. This is your divine feminine here. Twin flame. Bottom of the deck is the three of cups. Definitely could have been a third party involved in this. Okay, for some of you guys. I mean, whoever this third party was, somebody definitely got like drugged, and I feel like somebody's family was involved here. What else? We need to know for the collective about the emperor. Page of Wands. Okay. They, this person wants to talk. Hmm. Free spirit curious about you. This is now this is some impulsive energy here. Let's see. What about this page of wands? Or this could just be communication, but two of pentacles? I don't know. Mm -hmm. This could be somebody else. I don't know. 
whoever this was, I'm telling you, with the page of wands and the two of pentacles here, there's some juggling. Mm. This person could be very busy, but what else about this page of wands? Mm -mm. Okay. Hangman in reverse, which is Pisces energy here or Aquarius energy sometimes. So, well, somebody here is not letting go of something, or maybe they did let go of something. I wonder what this person let go of. If somebody was juggling, they're letting go of it, or they're not letting go of some shit. I don't. Show me more about this hangman in reverse. This came out sideways. The Queen of Swords. So you may have let this person go if you're Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Mm, somebody was cold as ice here. Mm, show me more here about the payman. King of Swords. Soulmate energy. So now we have the King and Queen of Swords out here. Interesting. Hmm. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. All right, let's clarify these energies then. Show me this Queen of Swords energy, please. Three of Wands. First thing I got was something kind of malicious, but who knows? The, the, you know, this is somebody here who... This Queen of Wands is somebody here who is this confident. This is somebody who's growing. This is somebody who's very successful here. Um, somebody, the Queen of Swords is somebody here in the waiting, is the one in the waiting period. So maybe this King of Swords is the one who's like, I don't want to wait. Let's see. Show me more on this Queen of Wands. This could be the person who's over to let them go. I don't know. Show me this Queen of Wands. Ten of Cups. Okay. All right. Let's see what else this other card is. High Priestess. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Why does this High Priestess got a gun? I mean, a, a knife. Secretive. Well, now we have the Herophile and the High Priestess out here. So definitely a divine union, by the way. So you're, you're spiritual. You're coming across the spiritual. And, um, you know... Empathic energy, mysterious energy, strong intuition, and the divine masculine is coming out as a hierophant too. So look at that. We were just clarifying the Queen of Swords. So this could either be, it could go two ways. This Queen of Swords is somebody here who was delaying this this male or this person. Okay, I really don't feel like this what this is, but I'm just gonna read it like this. So we give you give it to you both ways. The Queen of Wands is this person because this Three of Wands kind of came out crossing and that's like a challenge. So it's looking to me like this Queen of Swords was a challenge here and this could have been somebody that they have kids with or somebody could have had a secret baby or a secret, a secret child or a secret family or whatever or some family secrets. I don't know. Now, for others of you, this Queen of Swords is just the person, your person, you know, twin flame soulmate, however this resonates for you. There is growth and expansion with you and you're showing up as the same. There's some mirroring here. You're showing up as the high priestess. This person is showing up as the hierophant. You provide as the queen of swords the emotional support and the emotional stability and the happiness and the joy to take care of the family. This this king of swords, I feel like, you know, this they showed up as the king of pentacles and the emperor and the ten of pentacles came out for them. So they're providing the stability and the foundation and the security and the stable income, and you're providing the Ten of Cups, which is more on the emotional support side, the loving side. You see where I'm going with this? Okay. Clarify the King of Swords. The Hermit. <laughs> this King of Swords is a thinker, honey. They're smart. There might be a little bit of an introvert, though. But they're a spiritualist for sure. Very, very wise person, like I said earlier. Especially with the Hierophant being here and the Hermit, honey. This person is, their intuition, you see how this uh, indigo color is like kind of glowing around this person's head? This person's crown chakra is more open than yours. I know you coming up as the High Priestess. You may have cut some people off here recently. You see that knife? 
You might be real nice, but you'll cut a bitch. <laughs> I'm like, it's a nun with a knife. So it's like, yeah, I know everything, but I'll cut a bitch off. I'm nice and sweet. I'll give back to my community. But I'll cut a bitch off. I don't, that's what it's giving. Anyway, let me know in the comments. Uh, let's clarify the King of Swords, please. King of Swords. The World card. The World card. This person's very well traveled. Very, they have a knowledge about them. I feel like they just ended a karmic lesson. And they just gained a lot of wisdom from this. The world and the hermit, they just close out a cycle and they learn so much. That's why their intuition is now glowing. They just leveled up. This completion they had with this person was meant. You could be dealing with a fixed sign here. Somebody here could be an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a uh, Leo, or Taurus. They don't have to be. Show me the King of Swords. King of Swords. Ace of Swords. And honey, listen, this, this person just had clarity, truth victory over this situation i'm telling you even though this was might have been very difficult a very difficult ending here but this person has been enlightened this is an honest person this person now sees things totally different because of this situation that they just went through especially if they just went through some sort of form of betrayal with a family member or a karmic that they had children from it's like they're they're seeing something for what it is now because, like, in this, the Hermit card, this person's, like, bald. They're not wearing anything. They kind of have their head tilt down. They're thinking, right? They're thinking in this, like, there's this glow. Well, this World card, somebody's wearing, like, an Oculus, which is, like, virtual reality, right? So, this person could have had on some rose-colored glasses. Their intuition could have been blocked. They may have been hot. Things could have been hidden from them, but they're now starting to see the light. And this person's now, they have taken this off. This is them taking this taking this off and seeing shit for what it is. Ace of Swords with the Hermit. Oh, they it's, it, Spirit shined a light on it. Or Page of Swords. They may have hired a private investigator. Whatever it is, somebody went looking and digging or Spirit brought it to them and they found out. <sighs> Show me more about this King of Swords. Definitely enlightenment. This King of Swords may have an idea or another business idea too. Oh shit. Two of cups, three of cups. And temperance came out again. Ooh, honey. This person is an alchemist. They're realizing they can use alchemy to create. Okay, they're very, very smart. Two of cups and three of cups tells me like there's some balance that's gonna be created between the two of you. This is gonna be so good, beautiful and good. This person is looking for someone who can give back. They're looking for someone who's just as balanced as, as them. Um, this person may even want to collaborate with you like I said earlier like if this person is real smart they have ideas they create solutions they're a very good thinker okay very creative person this person's going to be in love with you soulmate connection some of you guys this is a reconciliation okay bottom of the deck is the moon cancer energy what is going on with this moon and what I don't know if this is emotional energy, fear, or being confused or afraid they're going to be somebody's going to be deceptive here or what, but alright, what what's the what what else do we need to know about this union between the two of these people? Tell me about this union between this Queen of Swords and this King of Swords, please. Union between the two. <coughs> Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy, you could be the water sign, but either way, it's like the two of you are both empaths. The two of you are both psychic. You're both going to be loyal. You're both going to be very nurturing and caring. You're both going to be family oriented, like I said, but I feel like this Queen of Swords energy, Divine Feminine, is going to offer the Ten of Cups the, the nice, loving, caring, kind, nurturing, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, Six of Wands. I didn't see that. Six of Wands. Wait, can you see that? Six of Wands. Listen, the two of you are going to get a lot of attention. Hmm. Show me what else here. Shoot. For this, for this couple. Hmm. Four of Cups. Boredom. Unhappy. I feel like some people are going to be unhappy and jealous. 
because you're getting what you want. Show me more about this couple here. Don't be be careful not to create imaginary conflict. Oh, this is too good to be true. Being all in your head. What is this? Hold on. Eight of Swords. And literally, did not just say be careful not being in your head, creating imaginary conflict. I'm pretty sure I just said that because the Eight of Swords is being in a mental prison and being in fear. That's what that moon we saw earlier, right? This is you having anxiety. If you don't stop, wait, can you see this? You see hands tied. If you don't stop, <clears throat> why are you in? Why are you in your head? Eight of Cups. Somebody just walked away from a king of wands where, where, that they had conflict with five of wands. That's why you in your head. You're protecting yourself. You can put up a guard with someone here that just do obstacles and challenges. And I mean, I, yeah, you walked away from it here. King of wands energy. Eight of cups. You walked away from this. Hmm. Alright, I think I'm going to leave the reading there. Y'all hit the like button. I love you.